Hey guys, it's me, Lindsay. Today I thought it would be a great idea to do a video about the Disney College Program phone interview. I was a participant on the Disney College Program during the fall of 2015, and since then I've had a lot of people, most mostly friends, come up to me in real life asking me for tips on how to have a successful phone interview. So that's why I thought I would share my top 10 tips with you today. Tip number one, prepare. Do your research. It's important to know what the program will entail, so definitely familiarize yourself with all things Disney College program. Whether it's the Disney look, Disney housing, Disney buses, the roles that they're going to offer, all of that, because you're going to want to have some sort of idea what you're talking about on the phone interview. I also chose my top three roles ahead of time, so if I were you, I would come up with three to five roles that would interest you the most because most likely on the interview they will ask you questions such as what are your top three roles and then they will ask you questions about those roles for you to answer like scenario type questions so definitely have that planned out ahead of time and uh, maybe write it down because it'll just be a lot more helpful to know ahead of time what roles you're interested in for the program. Tip number two, practice. Have mock interviews before the real thing. What I did was I asked some of my friends to interview me. Well, ahead of time, I went on Google, I went on YouTube and looked at vlogs, I went on people's blogs and just looked up some interview questions that they might ask and I practiced my answers. I wrote them out on paper and then I just practiced them. And then I had someone in real life interview me over the phone and in person just so that I felt more comfortable answering the questions. Tip number three, schedule your interview in the morning. This is more of a personal preference. I know that not many people are morning people. I happen to be a morning person and this just worked better for me. However, if it's possible, try to plan out your interview sometime before lunch. This is just a great way to get your interview done and over with, and that way you don't have to spend the rest of the day worked up with nerves and anxiety thinking like, I'm so nervous for this phone interview I have later. That way, you'll have the rest of the day to just breathe and relax like it's over with. Plus, if you wake up early in the morning, it'll put yourself in the right mental frame of mind that this interview is something important. It's a responsibility that you woke up early to do. So definitely think about that when you're trying to plan your phone interview. It doesn't necessarily have to be at the crack of dawn. I think I scheduled my interview for about 11, 11 15 in the morning. So any time before noon would be great. Tip number four get a good night's sleep, and eat a good breakfast. How many times has someone told you that the night before something big was happening to you to get a good night's sleep and have a good breakfast? This has probably been happening since you were in elementary school. Well, it still holds true today as an adult, believe it or not. Um, everyone should be getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep roughly a night. Um, but especially before an important phone interview, you're going to need energy. Your brain needs to relax before you have your phone interview. So definitely get a good night's sleep. It would be super embarrassing if you started yawning during the phone interview. That's the last thing you want to do. Also, be sure to eat a good breakfast. I'm sure you've done this or heard this before you had to take one of those standardized tests growing up in school. Well. It's about the same for your phone interview. Have a good breakfast. You're going to need that proper nourishment to feed your body and your mind because you need to answer those questions. Tip number five, find a quiet and comfortable place to interview. So I did my interview in my dorm room because I live at school. You can do your interview at home. You can do your interview in your backyard. Honestly, wherever it's going to be quiet and comfortable for you. I would not suggest doing your interview in the student center or doing it in the dining hall or doing it at Target. I don't know. Just not the brightest idea. Make sure you plan your schedule so that you're going to be having enough time to get to a quiet place. I know a lot of people do their interviews in their car and that's totally fine. If you're a commuter and you have nowhere else to go, 
do it in your car as long as you're comfortable and quiet and have no distractions. I also let my family know ahead of time, all my family and friends, I told them when my interview was going to be happening. So I told them to not contact me between a certain time of the time frame I would be interviewing just because I didn't want to get a text message or a phone call in the middle of my interview because that would have just thrown me off completely. And you don't want to do that. You want to you want to be relaxed. So, definitely find a quiet, comfortable place. Tip number 6, get dressed. Okay, I know that it's only a phone interview, but changing out of your pajamas will totally put you in the mental frame of mind that you're doing something productive. Dressing the part will help you re realize that your interview is important. Just because it's a phone interview does not mean you need to slack off. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to put on a dress or a business suit or nice shoes or anything like that, but honestly, dress like you're going to class, you know, do your hair, brush your hair, brush your teeth, put on you know, a nice pair of jeans and a shirt or something like that, or a Disney shirt if you really feel like it. Just anything but your pajamas because you're, if you're wearing your pajamas during your phone interview, you're not officially woken up in my opinion at least. So, you know, let's get down to business, Mulan pun intended, and get dressed and do that phone interview. <laughs> Tip number seven, write down encouraging words or quotes to look at before your interview. This is kind of another personal thing, personal preference, but before my interview, I was a wreck and I knew ahead of time that I was going to be a nervous wreck. So I was trying to think of ways to help me calm down before the interview just to because when you're nervous, I feel like you don't do as good of a job. And I did not want to be nervous during this phone interview. I wanted to show them that I was fit for the job. So um, one day before the interview, maybe like a couple days before, I was listening to Disney music because <laughs> let's be real, when am I not? You know what I mean? So um, I heard a quote, well, I heard a lyric from the song that really stood out to me. It was very inspiring. To be honest, I don't remember what it is, but it really spoke to me guys so um, I decided to write down all of my favorite Disney quotes in lyrics like that were very inspiring and I wrote them on post-it notes and I hung them above my desk and I looked at them all week before my interview I read them before my interview and I even read them during my interview and it really kept me going some of the quotes that I hung up were just keep swimming from Finding Nemo and uh, To Infinity and Beyond from Toy Story. It doesn't even have to be a Disney quote. You could put whatever inspires you. If you think that's gonna help you, I would definitely recommend doing that. Tip number eight, say the interviewer's name. All right, so it's interview time. You're, you're talking on the phone. Make sure you use your interviewer's name. They will introduce themselves at some point in the beginning of the interview. Um, my tip would be to have a piece of paper and a pen nearby so that as soon as they say their name, Hi, my name is Sarah. I don't know, I just made up a name. My name is Sarah. As soon as you hear their name, write it down on the paper just so that you don't forget. And don't feel embarrassed if you need to ask them to restate their name if you couldn't hear them the first time. It just shows that you care. You're, you're being respectful because they're taking time out of their day to talk to you and get to know you. So it's just really polite to use their name, especially because it's a phone interview. You can't look at their face. I would use their name as many times as possible, especially you know when you're greeting them and saying goodbye, when you're asking a question, any any time you can use their name. It shows that they're it shows that you're paying attention to what they're saying. So yeah, make sure to use their name as often as possible. Tip number nine: ask questions. So once again, um, asking questions to the interviewer shows that you're interested in not only them, but also for the company as well. Um, come up with a couple of questions ahead of time because I know that if I was asked if I had any questions, I would have been, I would have been stumped. I would not have known what to say, but luckily um, I had written down a couple questions that I had 
for the interviewer and I made sure to ask them during the interview. It could be about anything. You could ask them when they got started with the company. You could ask them about the Disney look if you have more questions about it. You can ask them just anything Disney or Disney College program related. Um, it'll show that you're really interested and that you really want this job. So please don't be shy and ask those questions because they love it when you ask questions. So yeah, tip number 10, smile. Okay, so you're interviewing for a place where you're going to be making dreams come true. Um, so just have fun and be yourself. Um, it's kind of weird, but I've heard that the interviewers, they can tell if you're smiling or not. So they could probably hear it in your voice if you're having fun and just being you. Just It's very important to have a positive attitude during this interview as you are going to be working at the most magical place on earth where you'll be smiling all day long. So definitely, definitely smile in your interview. If you feel like smiling during your interview will be hard for you, maybe look at yourself like in the mirror, look at your reflection and just smile at yourself. So that way it'll be easier to see that you are smiling. So keep smiling during the interview. It sounds kind of silly and awkward, but it should do the trick. So smile. Um, yeah, those are pretty much my top 10 tips. Um, I guess I'll throw in an additional number 11. <laughs> um, be honest with the person that you're interviewing with. So, you know, if you don't want to work outside, be honest and tell them. You know, obviously say it in a professional way, but let them know that you would prefer to work indoors. Or um, if you have any piercings or tattoos, let them know. It's not going to affect your getting hired or anything. They just need to know ahead of time. Um, if you have any sort of questions at all, just let them know. They'll be more than happy to help you. And um, I know that everyone is going to do a really great job with their phone interview. Do not hesitate to leave a comment below if you have any other questions. I will be more than happy to help you. I'm sending you all pixie dust. I know you're going to do a great job. You are going to work for Disney. I believe in you. You can do it. And I'm so excited for all of you guys to start your Disney College program journeys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found this helpful. I hope you all have a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye.